Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Today we're going to take a look at... What do you think we're taking a look at? I am ashamed. Alright guys, so I continue to tell you that we're going to review other things and apologizing for the multiple video cards and I just can't stop doing it. Uh, so I'm going to stop telling you guys that. We'll get to the other videos when we get to the other videos. I love GPUs. It's out there. I said it. I should probably go to some kind of group for this. Let's unbox this bad boy. So We've looked at just about every other Pascal card so far, save the 1070, which I do currently have one, and the Titan X Pascal. Uh, 1070 obviously will be coming in the near future. Uh, Titan X Pascal uh, remains to be seen, but I've got a funny feeling we will end up with that one as well. So, let's unbox this guy. This is the 1050 Ti Gaming X from MSI. So I noticed everyone else on YouTube was reviewing, well they were given review samples, uh, all of which were the uh, lower tier models. Now. I, Trust me, I totally get we're talking about a 1050 Ti. This is a just above a $100 card, not touted anything special. I totally get that. I get it, trust me. I just wanted to take a look at the nice one. Shoot me for it. All right. Let's get this guy open. Oh, man. What in the world? Oh, this slides out. Let's undo that. I feel like we should be playing some suspenseful music at this point. And here she is. Twin Frozer design and all. In all of its glory. Here she is. Apologize for the autofocus. Is what it is unfortunately so here she is it's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be um, but I guess that I should not have expected it to be any bigger than than it actually is uh, since it is such a lower tier card um, guys this thing's beautiful I'm glad that they didn't reserve just crappy coolers for the 1050 and 1050 Ti. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Um, for some odd reason, I am just as excited, if not more excited, about this card than I have been the other cards that we've looked at. I don't know why, don't know what it is, but for some reason, this one gets me going. So there you can see the front, it does have uh, LED uh, right there with the MSI logo. This one, unlike most of the ones that you've probably seen on YouTube or online so far in reviews, this one does have a six pin power connector right here. So a lot of them are touted as, uh, you know, low power cards, uh, and the vast majority of them do not come with a PCIe connector at all. So, uh, for the majority of them, you'll be able to run them in computers that maybe don't have a PCIe plug in them, something like a pre-built system. Uh, sometimes you have limitations there, and the other versions that do not include this 6-pin would be a good card to have for that. Um, guys, this thing is gorgeous. Let's see what kind of I.O. we have. Alright, as you can see, we have one display port, one HDMI, and one DVI. Uh, flip around to the back, and unfortunately, I know, 
there's no back plate. But you have to keep in mind this is a $150, $160 video card. Uh, you are not buying this because it's a behemoth. You're not buying this. Well, you may be buying this to show it off, and I wouldn't blame you if you were because it is a good-looking card. I personally do not mind the omission of a backplate here at this price point. I think that it is perfectly all right that they did not include a backplate. It does have a black PCB, um, so I'm perfectly fine with that. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, that was a quick look at the MSI GTX 1050 Ti. Um, obviously I do have a benchmark video coming soon. We're going to take a look at this card at 1080p in synthetic benchmarks as well as games. Uh, I'm going to try to pick up Battlefield 1 uh, sometime in the next 24 hours and add that in there as well since it's a newly released title that's fairly popular at the moment. Um, we will also look at overclocking a little bit. So since this card has the 6-pin PCIe power connector that is missing from a lot of the other 1050 Ti's, uh, it will allow you to add voltage to this card. Um, I did play around with it a little bit and the results are promising. So make sure if you've not yet subscribed, get subscribed for that. And I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one.